commiserations on the result tonight. Um, the only place to really start is the referee and some of the decisions against your side tonight. What did you make of his performance? Um, a little bit disappointed um, for the first goal because I thought it was a, a foul on Kyle Dobson. Um, the ref, I suppose the ref about what he said, didn't see it. So that was disappointing because I thought at that stage we had momentum in the game. Um, but, you know, I think sometimes when you, you look out a little bit, those type of things go against you. So a little bit disappointed, but um, to be fair to Gisborough, they're a really good side. They keep the ball really well. Um, play some nice football, so credit to them. Even with 10 men today, they, they kept the ball well. Uh, how do you think your team fared up tonight, given what happened on Sunday night? Um, good, you know, the, the reaction's been good. I thought the first half, I said the players at half time, I was delighted with their intensity in terms of the way we pressed. That was our game plan, to press really high for the first 15, 20 minutes, and I think um, I think the lads executed that. I was really pleased with the first half performance. Um, second half, they kept the ball really well. They're a good, as I said before, they're a good side, and we found it difficult to break them down. Again, um, my final pass, and we had a 2 1, we had two good chances, which we didn't take. Um, which has been a little bit of a theme. No, you know, not, not blaming any, any individuals, but we've had in, in lots of games had good chances that we haven't taken um, at key moments in games. So at two one, I think we had two two really good chances. But as I say, I'm taking nothing away from kids. Rather, they're, they're a very well drilled side. Yeah. And um, do you think the four four one score now flatters their performance? Um, a little bit, to be honest, because I thought we had some really good. Um, Periods in the game, um, particularly in the first half, I thought. I thought you know, even before the sending off, I thought there was times in the game where we dominated a little bit, um, and the lads worked really hard. And I think you could tell, you know, the last 15 minutes, the lads were tired, even though they had 10, because they keep the ball so well. Uh, what did you make of all four of their goals? Um, first one disappointed. I thought it was a foul, as I say, but the lads got across the front post again. It's a good finish. Um, to be honest, I can't remember this. I can't remember that second goal. That was a good. It was um, it was like an angled pass, and the lads got in, which uh, it's a defensively a little bit disappointing. But the kids had a really good right foot shot. Um, the third one, just asked the lads there about the wall. Was it set up right? And I've been um, assured it was. Um, Dan's got a good hand on it, but unfortunately, it's went in. And the fourth one's a good piece of individual skill. But we, by that stage, uh, we were chasing the game. To be fair, uh, what positives can you take from the game tonight? Um, just set the lads, uh, me and Tony are delighted with our attitude um, in terms of the way they approached it and executed it really well in the first 45 minutes. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite pleased overall, um, just a little bit, I thought we'll lack that cutting edge a little bit there to open them up um, at, at 2-1. Uh, finally, as caretaker manager, what will you be doing to keep the side's confidence up ahead of the next game? Um, well, to be fair again, I've just spoke to the lads, you know, um, we're together. Okay, yeah, we've had a, it's been a difficult few days. Obviously, Ian's moved on, he's gone to Ashington, um, and it's important that we stick together. And we've had a discussion about that before the game, um, and you know, there's no issues in terms of um, the atmosphere, everybody's pulled together. So, um, we look forward, I've got a game unfortunately on Saturday, so we'll look forward to our next game a week Saturday, which I think is Billingham, so we'll go again. Right, thanks very much. No problem.